how a single act of defiance sparked a wildfire of destruction and religious reform that swept through Europe and changed the world forever. Martin Luther's Defiance Luther posts his 95 Theses on the church door in Wittenberg in protest at some of the church's practices, including the sale of indulgences as a means of raising money. A collision course with Rome. Luther publishes and circulates a damning pamphlet in which he discusses the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church, as well as openly criticising both the Church and the Pope. The Diet of Worms Summoned to answer questions before the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, Luther's actions are deemed unacceptable and he is condemned as a heretic. He is excommunicated by the Pope. Henry VIII attacks Luther. In answer to Luther's attack on the church, English King Henry VIII writes his own pamphlet Septum Sacramentorum, defending the Catholic Church. A grateful Pope gives Henry the title of Defender of the Faith. In 1521, Frederick the Wise keeps Luther inside Wartburg Castle, hoping this will lower his popularity. The Augsburg Confession consists of 28 articles of Lutheran doctrine presented to the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, including Martin Luther challenging the seven sacraments of the Church and Calvin's five principles of theology. An Anabaptist movement is born. Inspired by Luther's descent, the Swiss reformer Ulrich Zwingli forms the Anabaptists, denouncing the doctrine of baptism in children and advocating for adult baptisms when they are old enough to confess their sins. Tyndale's Bible published in direct conflict with the Catholic Church's practice of service in Latin, William Tyndale publishes the first English translation. Those able to read can now question the wording and the Church's authority. In 1529, Luther and Zwingli meet to try and unify Protestants, but they cannot agree their differences. Henry excommunicated Following his divorce from Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII begins his own path of action in direct conflict with the Pope. Despite being called a defender of the faith, he is excommunicated by the Pope. The Act of Supremacy Henry VIII instructs Thomas Cromwell to push through an act to make him head of the Church of England. All ties with Rome are now broken. The Ultimate Sacrifice Thomas More refuses to accept Henry as head of the church and is executed. William Tyndall is found guilty of heresy for his Bible translation and burned at the stake. Dissolution of the Monasteries For all monasteries with a revenue of less than £200 per year, it took four years to complete a total of about 376 monasteries. John Calvin publishes his version of reform. Institutes of the Christian religion. The Catholic Church is now under attack from different factions of reformers with very different views. The Peace of Augsburg. This treaty ends conflict between the Holy Roman Empire and the League of Lutheran Princes. Lutheranism is to be tolerated and on track to becoming properly recognised in Europe. Protestantism comes to Scotland. 
John Knox, a staunch follower of Calvin, is central to the establishment of the Presbyterian Church in Scotland. England returns to Protestantism under Elizabeth I, following Mary I's Catholic reign. France at war with itself. The French religious wars are actually eight individual conflicts. As many as 4,000 Huguenots were executed at one time. By the time the Edict of Nantes ends the conflict, nearly 4 million are dead. The Edict of Nantes Following the persecution of the Protestant Huguenots, King Henry IV of France grants them religious toleration. It brings civil order but is revoked by Henry's grandson Louis in 1685. In 1560, the Geneva Bible is the first to be mechanically printed and mass produced. The Thirty Years War the war actually lasted 29 years, 11 months, 3 weeks and 1 day. Between 25 and 40% of the German population are killed. The Holy Roman Empire consists of approximately 1,000 semi-autonomous states. 30 Years War Ends the Treaty of Westphalia ends a destructive conflict between Catholics and Protestants from across Europe, mainly in Germany. It changes the European map and religious tolerance forever. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.